My name's Sophia Good. I'm a Sinemo fan member. My parents are Sandra and William Good. Uh, I am from Ait Lilam, the Good House of Design, and my sister and I produce uh, First Nations clothing. So we do we use our brothers and our dad's artwork, a traditional Coast Salish Sinemo art form. Uh, my sister and I have been doing it now for about two and a half years producing these garments, anywhere from wearable, really wearable art is what we produce. So my sister and I with Ait Lilam, uh, the Good House of Design Clothing, we are focusing more on eco-friendly fibers and keeping it natural and nice and local. So we are doing, we have uh, hemp and recycled fleece. These ones are made uh, local as well. And this has the sea serpent with the frog and the eagle featuring our brother Joel Good. We also have our ponchos made out of the hemp and recycled fleece. This one features our dad's artwork, so it has the frogs. Our dad has carved since about the 70s and our mother was a potter and taught art classes, so we were running around while all of this art was going on. Hence why my sister and I have also gone into the art business. My name is Sandra, Sandra Morehouse Good. I've spent my whole life as an artist. I've had my first art exhibit in 1953. And um, I lived, I had an art studio with uh, teaching pottery, painting, uh, sculpture, many of the different art forms. And uh, in 1980, Willie and I, after having known each other for about 10 years, uh, got together and we had a blended family. I had two children and he had two. And we um, started to work together and collaborate. One day I was looking, I was passing by and looked in the garbage and there was the most beautiful drawing of a eagle with the sun in one wing and the moon in the other. And I absolutely fell in love with it. So I took it and cut it out onto film, put it on a screen and put it on a dress. That weekend we went to Vancouver, we had an art show there, uh, Willie and I, and uh, he was at that time was also a jeweler and a carver and painter and we printed our own artwork, um, silk screened. So I took the dresses that I had done, unknown to Willie even, and it was a smashing success. So that sort of was the birth of uh, Ayatmet, the clothing line, and the name came from the elders here, my, my mother-in-law, whose home we're in, and uh, the other elders, they sat down and they gave us the name Ayatmet Eis, and decided to shorten it to Ayatmet, which meant uh, uh, beautiful works. In the 1990s, I was uh, brought in with my parents to assist with sales, production, and uh, various aspects of their business when they had Ayatmet and when they had Art of the CM and I managed the store for them at that time while they had all of the wholesale production going. And I gained an understanding of what it's like to operate a business um, with your family, aside from living with family in a living arrangement where we produced art for fun or for learning experiences, this was actual business. And it kind of birthed a, a desire in the girls to not let this flame die to pick it up and recreate it. They um, came together and decided to do it. But I guess being raised as young children and teenagers and early adults with us, they had no concept. They had saw us making it, it looked so very easy. So the challenge began. And uh, that's where I came in as a mentor. Growing up in a family artist, well, was pretty cool. We all, uh, I don't know. A lot of people really respect the way our family live because we're very tight and have all stuck together. Well, and all, all pretty much live together even to this day on the family property, so. Uh, my dad uh, was one of the first to revive traditional Koselish art in our area. I, um, 
And uh, so I kind of grew up carving when I was a little kid. I was selling carvings in galleries by the time I was an early teenager. Uh, the last few years, um, actually, it's been a major change in my career. I've done mostly larger projects. My name is William Good. My real name is Tiskinikin, which means uh, Chief Warrior Fighter of this Native people. And we're from the Hedatur Chief family. And uh, I started art. My first art firm I was learning was Tim Shan. And then after that, I learned Kokwakwiwak art form. And then after that was New Chatnoth art form under different um, teachers. And, but I, my desire was always to recreate the Hulkamanum art form. It took a lot of years to, uh, to finally be able to do this Hulkamanum art form and abstract it so it'll fit on jewelry and eventually steam bent boxes, which was a dream. It took years. And then my children, like when I retired, my children took over, my son took over on the, on the wood carving, and my two youngest daughters took over on the um, clothing, which uh, is really wonderful because they're learning all the, uh, the history and the culture and the uh, lineage and the stories that go along with the art forms, which is a uh, very important and a very crucial part to the whole Kamenian people surviving like as a nation and as a people. It's been a joy having my children take over because um, I know that this art form is going to carry on. Yeah.